This is a demonstration of my geyser pump. Uh, the geyser pump extends down 29 inches into this tube. And even though it's a 2 inch connection to this reservoir, uh, it, I don't believe it's going to quite meet the demand of the, of the pump. And so right now there's, there's probably about a 4 inch lift right there. And, and initially I expect the water to come out really, really quick but then it's going to probably draw this down inside the this tube and the reservoir of water right here is probably not going to meet the demand. Uh, th this is actually the first time. Uh, so we'll find out how it goes. Um, gosh, it'd be really nice to have... Well, I guess we can watch it on the video uh, as to how long it takes to fill five gallon bucket. Uh, yeah, that's a five gallon. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open the... Hang on just for a sec. I had the air diverted, so I had to change that over. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn it on right now. That was five gallons. So we'll figure out how much that, uh, how much this geyser pump is putting out. Oh yeah, yeah, it did draw the, it did draw the water down. Sorry, I didn't look to see how that was happen, how that was going. Hey, I'll tell you what, I'll pause this and I'll, I'll do the test again, and we'll see how far it draws down. Okay, I'm ready to go. Here's our initial depth, about four inches. I'll turn this on. Oh, it really doesn't it doesn't really draw down that far. I'm surprised. Well, I do have a two-inch uh, opening in there, so and there we go. Five gallons. <laughs> For a minute, I was afraid it wasn't going to shut off. Okay, well, I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, actually what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll pause this. I'll put this all back together so that you can see how the system actually runs. Okay, put the output tube back. That's uh, running into this uh, gravel bed here. The gravel bed is right here. And then this gravel bed is supported on this side by a... Um, by a, a, a PVC fence and it holds back the gravel so all of this is in one tank my gravel is in one tank along with my fish uh, this is my uh, fish tank and uh, this is a wicking bed that uh, it's supported on top of the um, of the fish tank by uh, these ropes they hold it up so what I've got is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine uh, air stones going here, and then I've got one going outside that's, uh, the, the pump is connected uh, to a Y or a T, and uh, it, it, it actually goes outside there to a, a bioponic system. So here in the, uh, another part of my shop, uh, kind of hidden away in the corner, so I don't have to listen to this uh, vibration, which isn't really all that bad. Uh, here's my pump, it's a uh, Eco Plus, uh, putting out 200 liters per minute, and it supposedly takes 200 watts, but I've measured this with my watt meter at 80 watts. Um, this pipe going up goes out. That's the that goes to my um, compost tea brewer, which isn't uh, taking any of the air right now because the outside valve is closed. 
and then this is how I ran it into the other room here where I just demonstrated the the airlift pump it comes in with a half inch line here's the half inch line and it, it comes through the wall there it comes over here and up into this geyser pump and there's the water going into my my gravel bed so I'm really really pleased with uh, the way this turned out there's um, 29 inches below below the um, water level and it's uh, it's got a rise of six inches and I actually don't run it at full blast because uh, uh, it's just too much water <laughs> um, this is my radial filter and I, just to kind of impede the flow of water around in there just uh, it helps I put some uh, bird netting in there but it's uh, other than that it's pretty much a standard radial filter okay well I'll wrap this up thanks for watching